And we all know how expensive some medical procedures are, especially for those in developing countries in Africa. Now worse, most hospitals there don't even have enough money to pay highly skilled doctors to work full time. But now one technology is bridging that gap and saving lives. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi has the story. Andrew Mutai had the scare of his life last September on a road in western Kenya. I was riding a motorcycle, then all of a sudden I, I had a, a pothole. He crashed to the ground, broke his neck, and suffered an open brain injury. Andrew was rushed to Tenwick Hospital, where a CAT scan was performed and a risky transfer to a larger hospital was ruled out. We got feedback that the C-spine fracture was a stable one as long as we left him in a collar. We did not need to transfer him. The feedback came from a radiologist in America, like Dr. Josh Bryant. I love radiology to begin with, and this is just taking it to another level. My shoes. It may be hard to imagine, but here in his golden Colorado home, Bryant spends time away from his private practice, reading and interpreting images of Tenwick Hospital patients. Tenwick has no permanent radiologist, so three dozen U.S. doctors now provide that service. It's very personal for me, even though it's thousands of miles away and I'm somewhat isolated in a room just reading on a computer. In some ways, I feel like I'm back there when I pull up a scan for them. It's very satisfying work. Bryant works for a teleradiology company called StatRad, whose product Rad Connect allows large imaging files to be transferred quickly and securely from one location to another. We put what's called an edge server. It takes the images through that edge server, encrypts it, compresses it, puts it in the cloud, and once it's there, you can view it from any web-enabled device. The long-distance consults help Tenwig doctors better tailor their treatments. Deciding whether to operate, deciding whether to do a biopsy, deciding whether or not to send somebody for um, chemotherapy or radiation. So, you know, I was expecting it. Unnecessary procedures are avoided. Diseases are spotted earlier than they would be otherwise. At the end of the day, there's very few CTs that I read that are negative. They're almost all abnormal and there's something that needs to be done. StatRed software provided free of charge has sparked interest in other countries as its president. It's absolutely the wave of the future. This image sharing may have saved Andrew Mutai. The technology assisted me so much. Ischemic. A thousand of these exams have been conducted so far. It's a great concept. And there may be many more just over the horizon. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.